Business need is a really important chapter in the book because it's probably the easiest way to control scope creep. One of the problems that we have with change is that an initial idea can suddenly snowball out of control as everybody who hears about the proposed change adds in their own ideas. So it becomes some big thing that becomes almost impossible to ever successfully implement. Now, the point about business need is what we're trying to work out is really what does your business need to change? Not what it could change or different ideas for change, but what's really important. And at the essence, we're coming down to two things. What problems should we be fixing? Or what opportunities could we be exploiting? So if we keep that in mind, that that's the first principle, then what we have to do is look at, well, what's the real value here? What are the benefits? What are the positive improvements that we could make that that would be sensible to change? Because the cost of change is so disruptive, it's so large. We're taking people away from focusing on their day jobs. So we are putting at risk business as usual. We're asking people to make an amazing amount of effort Often they're staying late, coming in early, giving up lunch breaks. They are trying to do two jobs at once, the old job plus working out how to do the new job. So there's a lot of stress involved. We have to be absolutely certain that what we're doing is the best possible thing. So what I've tried to do is break this general term for business need or business value down into its constituent parts. And at the end of the day, what it is, it's really about benefits. And what it isn't so much about is requirements. Let's get these the right way round. The benefits say it will be a good idea to do this because. The requirements are things that people have ideas about. We should have this and this and this. So the requirements are the different features and functions that people would like to have. But you can't start to prioritise those. And you can't start to work out which ones wouldn't be quite such a good idea if you haven't worked out what your ultimate need is, what your ultimate goal is. And so it's all about putting why before what. Now that just sounds so easy, but in practice it's incredibly difficult because as human beings, what we tend to talk about is we, we talk in terms of what we'd like to see. We come out with lists of requirements almost automatically. But what we're not so good at doing is expressing why that would be a good idea. So anybody who's working in change has to develop a skill for pulling that information out from people, discovering that information, almost proving that point. So I put lots of techniques in the book that help you do that by writing out who will be impacted and creating a persona for them and showing how they're going to be affected, creating scenarios to prove that this particular thing that's changed will lead to an improvement or a benefit, or perhaps to show that it won't. Uh, techniques about mapping the processes that are going to be followed to see if they're improving or if we're adding extra steps and making them more complicated. So. The concept of business need needs to be backed up with some practical ways for actually testing it. Because if we all agree that it's quite hard to express, we've got to have lots of techniques that we can use to go and discover it for ourselves. And that's really what that chapter is all about.